Imagine in 2050, Africa's population is estimated to hit over 2.5 billion, according to the United Nations figures. A more than adequate economic growth will be realized on the continent. Now, the middle class is expected to grow from 355 million to 1.1 billion in 2050, according to the African Development Bank. Now, we are joined with Brownwin Knight, CEO in Great Real Estate Income Group, which is the largest pan African focused real estate group listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and the Stock Exchange of Mauritius. Being the CEO of Great Real Estate Income Group, and given the fact that the group has been listed among top real estates in Africa, what effect will this have on your? offering. So thank you, Michael. So we have a diverse real estate offering. The benefit of the businesses is that we invest in eight African countries outside of South Africa. And that gives us a diverse platform of office, um, light industrial, retail, hospitality assets. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to um, have benefit of the, the growth you see across the African continent and have the real estate solution to support the African growth story. How do you see the real estate investment market adapting post the pandemic in Africa? So what we've seen is we've seen certain asset classes that have been very resilient um, and other asset classes that have struggled under the pandemic. But we see that, especially from a grit perspective, a lot of focus on light industrial, focus on um, corporate accommodation, offices. So we still see huge opportunity um, we still have a substantial pipeline and we still see um, amazing growth opportunity in these emerging markets. Because as you say, the growth is there and the people are there and, and the growth in the population is there to support the real estate. Now, you have created a real leading Pan-African real estate company. To what do you attribute your success to? Their business model speaks to the African strategy part of their model. And what we do is we provide real estate solutions, which allows us to sign hard currency leases um, either euros or dollars across many of the economies in Africa. And the fact that we are diverse, we have access or investment into North Africa, West, East and South Africa. And that diversity of one geographic and asset class makes our portfolio very resilient to what you see as emerging market trends, which obviously are fluctuating at times. So the diversity of our portfolio has attributed to our success over the last couple of years. The Great Real Estate Income has been an anchor sponsor of the Pension Fund and Alternative Investments Africa Conference over the year. Why do you feel this event is important for development of uh, the industry? One of the main provisors while we go in as a lead sponsor is we would like to educate pension funds across Africa into alternative investments, specifically real estate, um, and their ability to invest in not just traditional equities markets or what they would orig originally do, but to have a look at as an alternate asset class like a real estate business like GRIT. Yes, that was Brownwin Knight, the CEO of GRIT Real Estate Income Group, formerly known as the Mara Delta Property Holdings. So this is Africa News, your voice.